I'm starting here with my spring cleaning of the garage because it is a mess. You guys know I've been trying to declutter my home, but I've reached the point where I couldn't even get into the garage. So my husband was kind enough to open way for me here, and I was trying to assess and evaluate what I wanted to do first. And so since it's spring, I decided I was going to go with maybe decluttering some of the Easter things and spring that I no longer use or want. And there was quite a bit in here. I don't know how many bins I have, but I know that we are counting about 25 so far <laughs> that we have in here. Just on the floor, we're not counting the ones on the ceiling. So that's quite a bit. I was looking through these bags because they have a lot of florals, but some of them I had to declutter. So some of these bags are feeling a little bit lighter. And I will share some of the things at the end of this video or a little bit uh, on the things that I did get rid of. It was quite a bit. And, you know, this is like a never ending. And this is why I really am trying to taper down in my shopping because it doesn't matter how much you take out if you keep bringing in. So that is one of the things you really have to be careful with. So if you're in the decluttering process, one of the first things to do is to really just eliminate buying so much and if you are going to buy something get rid of something but look at that kickstand i was trying to get to it but i couldn't i was blocked in so yes i'm barricaded in my garage right now and i feel almost paralyzed like i don't want to do any of it because i don't really know where to start so what i ended up doing is just focusing on things that i wanted to get rid of so like these florals right here they're really pretty but some of them are already smashed or they've reached their max because I haven't really used them like these here. They're so very beautiful, but I don't use them. So what's the use? What's the point of having them if I don't get any use of them? And Miss Rita's going to love these because she loves florals with glitter on them. And I'm getting rid of those soaps from Costco and some plates from Dollar Tree and that I didn't even use, to be honest. These plants, I was going to give them to her, but... I think I'm gonna I think I already gave them to my mom so I'm gonna take them to my mom I'm also getting rid of Dollar Tree glassware and note to myself not to buy any more Dollar Tree glassware or dishwares because I already have a lot and I find that Dollar Tree isn't the best quality as far as uh, tableware my focus is going to be on purchasing purchasing items that are good quality and it does take a little bit of investment, but that's why I don't buy everything at this, you know, in one go. I actually take my time. I bought those plates just because it said tis the season. I didn't even want to use them. So I'm getting rid of them because that is the, se the name of the series that I have on my other channel. I do have other channels, by the way. I will link them below if you're interested. But look at this beautiful piece. It is so gorgeous, very classy and elegant, but it has to go. It's kind of heavy for my hands and my arms, so I do have issues with my shoulders. So I'm getting rid of things that are heavy. Now the plates, I'm going to keep some of the beautiful ones that I do have because even though they're heavy, I get assistance with carrying them and things like that but I was trying to see just I, I made a bigger mess sometimes you have to make a bigger mess and you have to be okay with that because you have to see what's in there like these they're gonna go I'm not a DIYer I love DIYs I love watching people do DIYs but I just don't have the time right now and I'm not willing to make the time for that because it does take more time and I I really need to focus my focus on other things and so I was trying to also sort out and pick out the best decor for spring that I wanted to keep and possibly use. I don't know. It's I feel like it's late in the game already. Easter's here and gone, but you know, it is what it is. So, but springtime, you know, springtime still lasts till a, a little bit, a little bit longer. So, you know, I really don't, to be honest, I don't even really decorate much for spring and summer only because i feel like i want to keep my neutrals but look at these beautiful uh mugs and there's a little flamingo i think Ms. rita gave me that i think she brought it from one of her trips to mexico and i don't know what that feather headband thing is doing there but in either case i pulled everything i could out of there um and i kept i kept the pink dishes those were so pretty for maybe like mother's day so i have a lot of things in boxes and i'm using some of these boxes to get rid of the boxes so i can actually force myself 
to run out of space of boxes and actually put everything in containers. Now these are the things that I'm giving, getting rid of. I may have shared these with you, this clip, in another video, but it was just a little snippet. So I wanted to share the entire process here of this day and how it went. Now this took actually I believe two days, but I did get it done so I put it all in one video. But um, it was hard to get rid of sentimental items like these. My mom gave me these, but she's given me so many things to be honest. And the only rule that I'm leaving is that I'm only going to keep the princess house uh, glassware that she gave me. Everything else, if I'm not into it or it's, it's you know, it served its purpose, it's got to go. Look at all these dishes. I'm getting rid of all these. And some of these were like $4 a pop. So that was a lot of money. So that's another thing that we sometimes hang on to things because they cost money. But how much is it really costing you if it's taking up valuable real estate space and it's actually breaking your other good stuff that you do love? So this is why I decided to just get rid of it. And that's how you have to change your mindset. You have to have a mindset of, okay, yes, it costs a lot of money, but it served its purpose. It gave me joy and it's time. So it's time to let it go. Look at these. They have the tags on them, guys. I didn't even use them. I feel like the the succulents are a bit on the, on the artificial looking side in real, in real person because in video they look real. But also this bling bling, it, it's like bling gone the wrong way. So it, I, it has to go. So as you can see, Ms. Rita's truck is packed. And you know, you will never know how beautiful it is if you don't donate, how much you can bring happiness to others. I may not be able to donate here and there, you know, because I'm not in the financial position to do so. But when I donate some of this decor to Ms. Rita or whoever it is, my mom, my sister, it's such a joy to be able to make someone else happy. Look at that face, priceless. Now we did go shopping, but I didn't buy any decor. I did buy a book, however. I feel like investing in books is such a great thing to do. And this only cost me like a dollar at the thrift shop, so not a bad deal. This is a must read for everyone. This is one of the best books you will ever read. Who moved my cheese? With Spencer Johnson, MD. It just is an amazing book. It applies to all the ages and stages of the life you're going with. It deals with amazing way to deal with change in your work and personal life. I used to read this to my sons when they were younger and one of them had a uh, difficulties with transitioning with changes, whether it be small or big, and this really helped them. And so now I think I'm going to read it to them again. And I want to get each one of them because I think this is a book that everybody should treasure.